Hey guys, here we are in the fourth round of uh, Mikey Garcia versus Juan Manuel Lopez. Uh, the first two rounds went pretty much exactly like Mikey wanted them to go. Uh, but the third round, Lopez made a lot of adjustments. He started changing his guard a lot. Uh, he did. He stopped fighting on the rhythm as much uh, as he had been before, uh, and was doing some really good things, putting Mikey in positions um, that he wasn't ready to be in. And you could tell by how he would kind of double over when he would get in close and put his head down, and he got really awkward. Um, uh, not what you would expect from a really high-level fighter. Um, Kind of like, um, I guess I'll talk about that, that kind of stuff at the end of the fight, the comparisons to um, him and Walters. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and finish this round. This is a short round. Um, and I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about why. Um, and we'll see. So here uh, Lopez is baiting the jab and, and look at how many how many different looks now you know he's standing he's not moving forward you know he's kind of moving um, he's not plodding forward before he's using his jab he's using head movement and right there great adjustment he knows that um, Garcia is going to jab with him right so he gets on the outside of the glove gets his glove in his face and hits him with the body shot showing great adjustments you know he's showing that he's got a lot of skills although like physically uh, maybe the coordination isn't there I don't know um, uh, maybe he's also just been had his bell rung a few times by Mikey Garcia and it's just kind of put him off a little bit but Lopez has shown that he's he's made the better adjustments in the fight so far um, Mikey Garcia having made very few actual adjustments again how often have you seen in this fight Mikey Garcia miss his jab? Just straight up, I mean, he makes up for it there, I guess. Uh, catches him. But but Lopez isn't following him around anymore. He's he's using an active guard. Oh, man, I don't... And I'll tell you, I couldn't figure out what happened here. I think what it is, he eats the jab. And when he goes to move his foot, I think his foot got stuck. I think he steps on Mikey Garcia's foot right there. And that's why he winds up all off balance and, and messed up here. Uh, not because he was hurt or anything. Um, and then he smartly controls Garcia so he doesn't come up and get cracked. But um, but yeah, actually, now that I look at it in this, he, his foot gets, definitely gets stuck on Garcia's. Uh, and that's why he gets all off balance and stuff. I'm glad I caught it uh, and didn't just assume that he got hurt by the jab like I was going to. But um, his foot kind of gets tangled up a little bit. Uh, again, changing levels here. That's a new thing, changing levels. Mikey Garcia controls him with his jab and, go, and steps back. And he's like, oh, what's he doing? Oh, i got to figure it out. You know, making him think. Uh, and again, puts all his weight on his front leg. Times, um, he does time. Um... Lopez really well, even though he doesn't land that jab and he gets out. But um, uh, oh maybe he does. Man, I'm like I'm a mess right now. Uh, I don't know. But um, he catches him with that hook though on the way out, uh, and he makes him miss the body shot by circling out to the right or to his left to Lopez's right, and he does catch him with that hook ever so slightly. Oh, uh, and then poor Lopez right here. You can see it, you know, he's not even ready to punch. And he's been having trouble with his trunks all match. And he pushes his trunks down, pushes them down again. And then uh, Mikey jumps in and creams him while he's messing with his trunks and his hands are down. Poor guy. But, uh, you know, you always got to be ready. You know, sportsmanship, I guess, is overrated. I don't know. Mikey tried to do the same thing to him in the previous round when he slipped on the canvas. Um, oh man, and he catches him with a great shot. And uh, he because he hasn't been throwing his his hook, leading with his hook. He's only been countering it. Mikey or Lopez has no idea this is coming. And uh, that's that. I want to point this out. I want to take this opportunity to point out the difference between a game plan and craft. Right? 
Uh, because this is craft, right? You spend the first three rounds jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. Now your opponent's only got jab on your on his mind, uh, and now he throws a left hook instead, and it's just a massive punch. He just creams him with it, and um, that's craft. You know, that's how you set your punches up. That's how you create a, like a rhythm, a flow for the fight. Um, that's one of the things that you learn about fighting for creating patterns so that you can break them later. You know, I, I kind of describe it to my friends when they're interested about boxing. Um, you want to show your opponent that the world is flat uh, before you remind him later that it's round. Um, and that's kind of what he does. You know, he shows him, oh, and that's like a, such a stupid example. Please don't ever quote that. <laughs> but... um. But, yeah, you, you make him think jab all fight long, and then you catch him with the left hook. And that's just a very simple uh, part of somebody's boxing craft. Uh, whereas, um, you know, the rhythm and timing and stuff, that's all stuff that you learn, f like, fighter-based, right? And Mikey has shown that he has, he excels with rhythm and timing and whatever. And, and learning that is a craft, but the way that you 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 um how do you say it they the way that you use it the way that you that it's applied in each fight is different um for each fight so it's it's a craft to learn it's not something that you you're going to see somebody um employing in their fight every time but anyway um uh and also the difference between like a game plan um you know game plans are fighter specific not craft, so they're they're often not as sharp or as clean. Uh, Mikey Garcia has had a great game plan so far, but we'll we'll talk about the difference between an athlete with a game plan, um, and and craft at the end of this video too. But anyway, um, Lopez shoots a jab, and Mikey tries to counter it um, like he had been, and Lopez slips it and lands a great shot to the body almost lands a hook um luckily for mikey he gets out of the way but again um the momentum of this fight aside from i don't want to say cheap shot aside from him taking advantage of him putting his trunks up or messing with his trunks if it wasn't for that uh lopez would be dominating this round again lopez just walks in and lands a straight left easily um no defense from Lopez, and he kind of eats a hook right there. Um, that grazes Mikey's head, but he gets under it. Uh, he, then he misses his jab, all of his weight on his front foot again. Uh, and Lopez doesn't, you know, take any any other action. But there's no reason for Mikey to be eating a, a hard shot like that from a hard puncher. You know, that could have cost him the fight. Any of those punches could have cost him the fight. Um... Oh, man, again, uh, Mikey lunges in with his jab, puts all his weight on his front leg, and what do we remember from Lopez's game plan? He's like, oh, man, even if I got hit, I got to show him the left hand. And what does he do even better this time? He showed him the body shot off of his jab every single time, and this time, see, he goes to block a body shot, uh, and he might have been able to block it if it was a body shot, but instead he just eats a straight left hand. I don't know why Mikey Garcia wants to be um, this hittable, but see how he just drops his left hand after that? Um, it's a lack of respect for boxing and a lack of respect for his opponent. He should have, after landing that jab, he should have looked to either follow it up with another punch and some head movement, um, or just head movement, uh, or controlling Lopez. You know, land the jab and then dip down to his right, onto his right leg, and then circle out uh, or pivot out or um, roll the hook that he that could have been coming instead um, and get his foot on the outside of Lopez to stop the offense. There's like a, a ton of different things, but instead he just stands there and gets punched in the head. Um, not a mistake that he's going to be able to make against Nicholas Walters, uh, let alone just putting all his weight on his left leg. But anyway, moving on. Right there, beautiful boxing from Lopez. Faints, um, or uh, throws the the left hand. He misses, rolls the the hook, closes the distance, 
and he kind of lands some pity pat punches no like to the body uh, nothing really but look at Mikey Garcia where does he what is he doing right here now he's his backs are against the ropes his hands are up he's not in position to punch or to counter or to really get out um, if Lopez was a better athlete if he you know did anything better uh, he could have capitalized on that and he does land this straight left hand after controlling Mikey Garcia's head right he stops Mikey Garcia from bodying up with him with the forearm right there and lands a punch but why is Mikey Garcia so out of position um, when when Lopez comes in you know he shouldn't be that far out of position um, there's not really a lot of excuses for it he should be looking to like you know you never want to see this but at least he's not holding or clinching right but if we had seen Mikey Garcia get knocked out in this fight by Lopez um, then you look back and you're like oh you know he should have been clinching so if we're going to say that if that was the case, hindsight, then we kind of do got to say that he should be holding or clinching or doing anything to prevent Lopez from being able to get these shots off. Uh, because Mikey Garcia is too good of a fighter um, to be taking shots like this. But also, if he's supposed to be competing with Lomachenko, he shouldn't be taking shots like this if he's expected to beat him. But anyway, moving on. We'll talk more about that later. Again... Uh, Mikey jabs, and he for some reason he's just not ready for this body shot. Um, Mikey do, isn't able to control his head um, with that with that little glove touch and eats a body shot, and he doesn't even land the counter shot. I don't know if he lands these ones. I don't. It doesn't even matter. Um, but Mikey Garcia is not. He keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, not showing any adjustments. Um, maybe he's... Well, we'll see. We'll see. And right here, this is the end of the fight. Sorry, spoiler alert. Boom, and he catches him with a big right hand. And it looks great. Catches him with two punches. Knocks Lopez down. And he gets up, right? Look on his face. He's looking at his corner. He's like, huh kind of wobbly you know maybe it's a it's probably a good stoppage but let's go back and break down exactly what happens so he jabs and look at how he's not flying oh no sorry look how he's not kind of flying in with his jab um, which is good and then he takes a step back when Lopez goes to counter him lands the right hand um, and it looks good it all looks really good, but if we're breaking it down, um, he lands the shot, and then he misses that shot, misses that shot, and then finally comes up with this one. The problem with what he's doing here, he lands it, uh, misses that one. He's not controlling Lopez, right? Lopez is a fish in water right now. What he needs to be doing is you know, putting his jab hand out there um, onto Lopez's head, so that when he moves his head, Lopez can punch wherever he uh, wherever he moves his head to, um, and you know, kind of control him and put him into a spot where he can punch him, rather than um, you know missing two punches in a row. You know, here he misses the one punch, then the second punch, uh, and then he. Th I, th I guess he kind of try thought he could try and like clinch with him. Uh, and then he comes up and he has he has nowhere to go. He's com he's completely out of position. Uh, and Mikey takes that angle on him, right? Uh, and then catches him with the punch. And that's that's part of the beauty of taking an angle on your opponent. That's one of the reasons why it's so good because your opponent, when they turn to go see you, and that's what Lopez does right there. Um, he just gets caught with a punch. But let's go back and look at it because Lopez was doing a lot of good things in this fight. He was really coming alive. Uh, he was making great adjustments. Um, and I actually thought that he was coming on really well. So here's the jab. Throws the punch. But if you see, if you look really closely, Lopez's foot, it actually gets, he steps on Mikey Garcia's foot right here. Look at their feet. His foot is on it. Now, as I slowly move it, um, when Mikey takes his half step back, Lopez's foot comes with him, 
and you see it come just a little bit, and it throws him off balance, uh, and then he gets cracked with a big shot. Um, to, to be fair, Mikey Garcia was probably going to land that punch anyway, if not this round, the next round. Um, uh, or, you know, the next round after that. But he was, he was setting him up, and maybe that's why he wasn't responding. Because um, he baited him into that one, knew that he was going to go for the body shot. Uh, and that's a great adjustment. It, it did take him, you know, a round and a half to figure it out. Um, but that is, that is some head, heads-up thinking from, Michael, from uh, Mikey Garcia. But um, I, I want to go back and look at, look at the times where, whoops, where Mikey Garcia is out of position. Uh, I think there was one right back here. No. Oh yeah, right here. So, um, why is he moving like this? You know, it, when Nicholas Walters fought Lomachenko, he was almost never out of position like that. He had great footwork. Um, he would dip down. He would pivot very well. He would move into the open space. Um, he did a lot of great things. Nick, I, I never wanted to say it like after having done a film study on them. You know, dare I say Nicholas Walters has better footwork than Mikey Garcia? You know, that very well could be because there's no reason for for Mikey Garcia to find him. You know, out of position like this. Um. Anyway. Um. I'll, I'll do actually a summary video of it. I got to take this call, but uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.